Good day, Hudson Valley. I'm your host, Lisa Caslin, and welcome to our show. Today, we're celebrating the vets in our community and some really interesting programs that uh, many of them are taking part in in our county here in Putnam. I have three wonderful guests, some of uh, whom have been here before. We're bringing back Carl Rohde, who is the Director of Veteran Services uh, in Putnam. We have John Borges, who is the program coordinator for the Vet to Vet program. And we have Patrick Brady, uh, who is a Vietnam era veteran, and we'll get his story a little bit later. So welcome back, Carl. Thank you. Good to be here. Good. So give us an overview of what's going on here in the county in terms of services for the vets. Well, when I took over the job about five years ago, it was for the, the Putnam County Veteran Service Agency was pretty much a um, passive organization. You had to walk into the office to see what was going on in the county, and I decided that I wanted to expand it. We were going out and doing as much outreach as possible to the veterans. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a veterans residence that houses up to 12 possibly homeless veterans or <laughs> veterans that were near homeless. We offer, uh, we have three uh, veteran service counselors, mm -hmm. um, one from New York State and then two of us that are local that um, give veterans counseling. Uh, we have the um, probably one of the newest things and the thing that we're most proud of over the last two years is uh, the Dwyer Peer-to-Peer -peer Program, mm -hmm. which it's been a proven uh, <laughs> thing that, that veterans helping veterans are the best way to get a veteran the help he needs. Uh, often they will um, avoid going for um, care for uh, like post-traumatic stress disorder. They don't really want to go for care or talk about it. Some of the younger veterans are in their basements playing video games mm -hmm. and we try to get draw them out, make them part of the community mm -hmm. and our Dwyer Vet to Vet program is, is doing that. Mm -hmm. and that's, so th those, those are the basic services that we, but, but we have outreach, we, we try to get out to as many veterans as we can in all parts of the county. Okay, so I wanna talk to John uh, uh, specifically about the, the Dwyer Vet to Vet program, and I know Thank you for it sort me. of flows from Carl to you, at the, it's the MHA, right? Yes, that, correct. That sort of, so tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Um, the Dwyer program was started a few years ago, originally started in four counties in uh, New York State. It was uh, sponsored by Lee Zeldin, who at that time was a uh, state senator and covered Suffolk County, mm -hmm. which is where Joseph Dwyer was from. Mm -hmm. Joseph Dwyer, like many people, uh, joined uh, the military after 9-11. Mm -hmm. uh, he enlisted in the military and he was then soon deployed overseas to Iraq where he was a combat medic. Mm -hmm. uh, shortly after his return, um, he started to suffer from the effects of PTSD. Mm -hmm. Uh, which led to substance abuse and also depression, mm -hmm. uh, which the combination eventually led to his death at the age of 31. He was married, he had a child. Um, and one of the things that uh, Carl and I have gone to Albany, we met his family, uh, but you've also seen it in many uh, newspapers and magazines. There's this iconic photograph of Dwyer uh, carrying and cradling an Iraqi child. Mm -hmm. um, but the family had noted, people that he'd been deployed with noted that the time that he was his best, the time that he was back to being the Joseph Dwyer they knew was when he was just interacting with another veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't have to be a member of a club, they weren't uh, members of the VFW or the American Legion, although they both could have been. Mm -hmm. um, but they found that the time that he best interacted with people was when he was just with a veteran. Mm -hmm. So they started the veteran program and it's a peer-to-peer -peer program. It's now included in 15 counties in New York State. Mm -hmm. Putnam County is one of them. I'm proud to be the uh, program coordinator. Mm -hmm. And basically the program works to be an outreach program to all veterans in Putnam County. Mm -hmm. We meet on the first Wednesday of every month to get together. We also have call-ins. Um, we also reach out to the residents, you know, where Pat is. Um, and we try and get involved in the community to try and locate veterans. And again, it's not saying that you have to be a member of an organization. It's just a chance for you to get together to be with other veterans. Okay. And if at that time you th feel that you may need referrals to other organizations, we have a very good working relationship with Carl and Art and Brennan Mahoney. Um, that what we can do is we can make those services available to you. Good. So that's how it started, and that and then we're very happy with it. It's uh, okay. probably grown 50 percent, probably. Oh, in that's the, wonderful. In the okay, last yeah. year or two. Yeah. So we did. We had Carl on about uh, a year and a half ago, and it was you know relatively new. So I'm happy to hear that you're you're making some good traction. So I want to hear a little bit. You know, rubber meets the road story from from Pat. You have sort of. 
uh, taking advantage of the residence program uh, as well as some of the uh, Dwyer uh, program outreach. So talk a little bit about how that's helped. Well, you know, when I came home, there was nothing here in vets at all. And, you know, I kept working, so I didn't bother with it. And then my service injuries got worse, and mm -hmm. I contacted someone at the down there in uh, Brendan Mahoney. He helped me through that, and that's where I ran and met Art, Carl, and through them, they got me the house over there to stay in. You know, it's been fantastic. I've been there six years, and I enjoy it. I've gotten involved with, you know, the Bob Palmer flags and the wreaths and the cemeteries, and then with John, I mm -hmm. fell in love with all those people up there, especially the food they make on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I That's get, gained some of the weight, but, you know, just, like I said, there was nothing here when I yeah, came out, yeah. and now it's... They come looking for you. You're <laughs> flourishing, yeah. So do you, I mean, I, I think it's probably a no-brainer. I mean, it's it's sort of like that old ad at walk a mile in someone's shoes. And, you know, when you can talk to somebody that you know has done or been there, uh, it's, it's a much different experience than maybe going to a, a social worker or a, a, a psychotherapist or something like that, right? Oh, yeah, there's nobody actually wants to come out and talk to anybody. But these guys reach out further than most people would. And anytime you need them, they're always there. That's you know, great. I mean, we've run into groups that help us. We've got a motorcycle group that helps us. They come over, and with them, we've gotten into doing so much. Yeah. And it's almost like our own little family now. Yeah. Which you're, got social, the whole county. you're social. You're socialized. Yeah. That's that peer-to-peer -peer program has been found to work in almost any thing that you can think of, whether it's Weight Watchers or yeah. AA <laughs> or true. you name well, it. Well, that's it, what I'm going to need a after a while. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep feeding you on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, but it is, it's the outreach, and that's what's the benefit. Yeah, that's wonderful. We, we love what you're doing. So uh, is there anything else that we should know in terms of, you know, if there's any vets out there that, you know, you haven't found yet, uh, what's the best way to get involved with this? And, you know, it's, it's, it's anonymous, too. So that's sure. another good point that we should probably uh, talk about because I know a lot of people may, you know, feel a little bit uh, apprehensive about they can always call the Dwyer program um, at MHA. Um, they can like us on Facebook. Again, they can leave a, a number for us to get in contact with it. We always check the, the phone if I'm not there to answer. Um, we not only are looking for veterans that may need our services, but we're also looking for veterans that may want to volunteer. volunteer. Um, but in addition, there, there's uh, many women vets that we're looking to try and, and to tap into to try and mm -hmm. reach out to them, to try and bring them forward, um, as well as Many times it's the family member of the veteran who actually is looking for a resource to try and figure out what's going on with their father, with their husband, mm -hmm. with their uncle, whoever it may be. Mm -hmm. And we're another resource for them that we can always try and help them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it's not actually the veteran that, that reaches out to us. It's actually the veteran's family that reaches out to us, ask for help. Yeah. We're also concerned you have caregivers that, that need help, that right. caregivers can come to us. They, mm -hmm. you know, they, they all... A lot of times don't have any relief from what they do. They're, yeah. they're giving care yeah. constantly. Yeah. And we'll go in there and the help them way. get stuff, you know, support that they need. Maybe some respite care. Uh -huh. uh, maybe something just having a day off. Yeah. Uh, so we, we, we reach out to family members. And I think of the 15 programs, we were up at a um, seminar for uh, two, was it a two-day seminar? We were up in... Um, in Albany, and we found out that we're probably the only of the 15 groups that are really concentrating on the family aspect of it also, and hopefully that's expanded to some of the other Dwyer programs now, because we think that's, you can't have one without the other. Yeah, you know, yeah. just, just having to, helping the vet veteran is, is wonderful, but we have to be you know, concerned with the family members also. Absolutely. So uh, I think there's a few uh, <coughs> events coming up in honor, in honor of Memorial Day. We have the Row of Honor, right? Are you yeah. involved with that? Yeah, we have the, we, the, 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 one of the big things uh, that we have, uh, Mary Ellen started this several years ago, is a Row of Honor. We have it twice a year where you can um, purchase a flag um, in memory of some veteran or a loved one, a uh, first responder, and have that flag perpetually on the um, Shores of Lake Oneida. Mm -hmm. We do it twice a year. Mm -hmm. uh, my office, um, it, I can give a phone number. Um, sure, yeah. 845-808-1620. You can call us up and we will set up for you to have one of those flags. On the 21st, we're having our kickoff breakfast, which is going to be when the flags are going to be placed and have a little, you know, some 
photo opportunities. You'll be able to find your flag. We produce a map every year where, where all the flags are so oh, you can go great. and see your flag. Because it means a lot yeah. to people, especially they're dedicated to uh, so, somebody that's passed. It, it really means a lot. Uh, and then um, on Memorial Day, the weekend of Memorial Day, we have um, what we call the Putnam County Watch Fires. Uh, 11 years ago, somebody on the eve of Memorial Day threw um, red paint all over our uh, memorial oh. in, uh, out in Putnam Veterans Memorial Park. And we still had our ceremonies, but what we do the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before from six at night till six in the morning, we have a, um, we have watch fires where there's veterans there tw for those from between six and six, the three nights, and we retire American flags. So you want to bring your American flag? We retired about um, 4,000 American flags last year. Mm. And uh, there's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of, a lot of talking, uh, veterans swapping stories and veterans swapping lies, and we're all there. <laughs> we have a great time. And then, um, then of course, there's, there's Memorial Day ceremonies in every community mm -hmm. on the 30th. Mm -hmm. So you just have to go to your you know, local VFW or American Legion and there will be a, a Memorial Day ceremony to honor those who um, lost their lives in war, which mm -hmm. is what Memorial Day is, is all about. Yeah. And if I can mention one other program that's yes. on here on, on um, the, 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 what we call um, Soldier on the Shelf. <laughs> and what we're asking people to do is stop by my office or the county office building and pick up one of these uh, toy soldiers this little, little miniature soldier, and to um, put that somewhere in prominence at your home, and you can, uh, to remind you of Memorial Day. So when you mm -hmm. see that, you remember Memorial Day. And then on Memorial Day, take the soldier, go to a Memorial Day ceremony, bring the soldier with you, go up to a veteran or a service member and say, thank you for your service. Um, we post it on Facebook, the um, county, we have a Facebook page, Soldier on the Shelf. And if you're a sailor, it's sailor on the sill, a marine, marine on the mantle, a <laughs> coast guard, coastie on the cupboard, and airman in the armoire. So, <laughs> you know, we cover all the branches of service, but it's, it's something to remind people, make them aware that um, Memorial Day is a very important day. It's not a three-day holiday. Right, it's every day. Yeah, yeah it's every day. So, uh, just to <coughs> remind folks, if they want to access the website, what's your website? Um, Vets at Putnam County dot gov. Com, I think it's dot com. All right. And well, we're going to put we've a been ha That's the problem we've been having. Uh, <laughs> I think it's we'll, we'll we'll put up a, a little graphic there for everybody. And John, what's your site? They can uh, email me at j burgess b o u r g e s at m h a putnam dot org. Okay. Um, they can also reach out to Put County Vets at gmail dot com, and okay. we'll get in contact with them and. Send them all the information they need, when we meet, where we meet, for how long, and anything else they may need. Great. And if anybody wants to have lunch with Pat, they can uh, visit the, the, the veterans' <laughs> residence, right? right? We've got gardening time <laughs> coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, some just uh, one, one nice thing, with since we've been doing more and more outreach, um, we had an Eagle Scout build a garden for the veterans, and the Master Gardeners at Cornell have their plant sale this year, and people can go up and buy plants and there's be a table to donate that plant to the veterans oh, residents. Oh, okay. That's a good so thing. That's coming. So a lot up. of this thing has been expanding over the last few years, which is great. More more awareness. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, as always, uh, everybody, we'd like you to come back. Uh, if you have ideas or thoughts, send us an email. Visit us at gooddayhudsonvalley.com and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.